humans don't always think rationally. And not everyone thinks in the same way. We're all motivated by different things. But if some of those things overlap, you can get people working together and everyone can benefit. An area-wide retrofit is a great example. Making energy efficiency improvements to one home is good, but by rolling out a retrofit program across a whole community, the benefits are even bigger. You'll be saving money and your carbon footprint, whilst making your homes warmer and cheaper to run. So what does retrofit actually mean when we're talking about energy saving? It can be a small improvement from putting up a washing line, installing draft excluders, efficient lighting, loft insulation, a heat pump, a new boiler, or even a solid wall insulation, and it needn't cost the earth. Because by spreading the workload and the investment as a community, it can be affordable and achievable. Deciding what to do is dependent on what your homes need and what resources you have available. That doesn't just mean money, it's also people power, factoring in the time you are able to commit. We all have busy lives and a community-wide project is probably no small undertaking. So, first things first, have a look at where you live. A village, a suburban street, a block of flats and a Victorian terrace are all different and will benefit from different improvements. So your options will vary. To decide on what sorts of energy efficiency retrofits will work best, look at the housing stock and who lives there. Ask people what they want. We recommend carrying out research to help you understand and decide what your best options are, whether you decide to go for big or small improvements. Think about the costs and how you can make the most of your money by negotiating bulk buy discounts from manufacturers and tradesmen. Remember, together we have purchasing power. If you decide to get something up and running in your local area, here are a few things to consider. Make sure you have a strong project team with defined roles. Play to the strengths of the people around you. Bring in expertise from the area and consider how much time people have to commit. Writing an action plan will help you crystallize this. Factor in finance. You don't need to have the money up front, but do start thinking about what you need and where it's going to come from. You might be able to apply for grant funding to help cover your project setup and running costs. And there are grants, subsidies and loans that individuals can tap into for their homes, such as Green Deal plans and Eco Energy Company Obligation Grants. Making it easy for people to join in is a challenge in an area-wide project. So how can we get everyone on board and enjoy being part of a collective effort? Think about your messaging and what benefits will appeal to people most. What will work best in terms of communication and engagement? Consider all the options, from organising public events, knocking on doors, using local media and not forgetting good old-fashioned word of mouth. Rolling out an area-wide retrofit programme. Ollie Pendered, Barkham Energy Group. Start by really knowing your community and have an energy plan. If you've got an energy plan, then you know which way you're going. And that should be, in any community first, to reduce energy usage, then to insulate, and then to look at microgeneration and renewables. Engage with the community um, and do relaxed, fun events. Uh, we put banners up in the middle of our village and invite people to energy cafes where we have um, bacon sandwiches, tea and coffee, and it's between 9 and 11 in the morning. And we just get a nice trickle of people in an informal atmosphere talking about their home energy needs. As a group, if you can get grants, um, then you can help your community make change. And um, in our instance, that was through a deck uh, leaf project and um, we were able to, to put money aside to, to subsidise insulation and we managed to get 25% of the village insulated. We hope that's enough to get you thinking. There's plenty more information and resources available in the Plan Local pack or online at planlocal.org.uk. Good luck with your project.